Hi, this is Charles from Woodfast. We're here at our Woodfast HQ in Perth, Western Australia. Here today to talk about our Woodfast 14 inch BS350D bandsaw. So it's 14 inch, so it's got a cutting capacity of about 345 millimeters, a height cutting capacity of 320 millimeters. It's got cast iron tables, two horsepower motor, we also have got cast iron wheels, dynamically balanced cast iron wheels with urethane tires on the machine. You can put a six mil up to a 19 mil wide blade on this machine. And you've got many, feet, many key features on this machine. And I'll run through a few just to show you them. This machine is a two speed bandsaw. So you can change it depending on the material you're cutting. So we can open that up here we can see our indication sticker, which tells us our speed. So we've got first position is 440 meters per minute and position number two is 900 meters per minute. To change the speed on this machine is quite easy. So we just loosen off this idler roller that will adjust this roller and take the tension off the belt. We can roll that onto the other speed. Make sure it's sitting nice and firmly on the pulleys. Tension that back up. Give it a quick spin to make sure it's tracking correctly. And that's how you change your speed over. Nice and simple. Machine is fitted with micro switches on both doors. So when the doors are open, the machine will not turn on for safety purposes. Also have a no volt relay switch so when power is disconnected, the machine will turn off. It, when the power is reconnected, it won't automatically start up. You have to physically push the button again to return that on. Comes with a 150 millimeter high aluminum rip fence. So we can easily adjust that and slide that from one side to another. So we can move that. We can also move that to this side of the bar. I'll just come around this side. This machine also has an easy adjustable fence to adjust for run out and drift when you are cutting. So to do that, we loosen off the lock knob, just loosen this one a little bit, and we can adjust this. And it will adjust our fence for drift depending on when we're cutting, how, how the machine's operating. And then you can lock that back up and lock this up. Also comes with a resaw bar, which can be slid and moved over and it also can be removed completely quite easily if you don't need to use it. This machine also comes with a miter gauge, T-slot miter, so you can do all your miter and cuts. There's two, pot, two positions for this, one on either side of the blade that you can put it. Also comes with the toolless blade guide system, so we just loosen it off. They're spring-loaded, the blade guides, the bearings, the back one and the two front ones. So we can set that depending on what we're cutting, or sorry, when we uh, set our blade. And we've got the same on the bottom for that. So the same toolless blade guides, nice and easy to adjust. The machine's also got some key features on the back here. So one of them will be our quick tension release. So we can just loosen that off. That will take tension off the blade. So when you're not operating your machine, release the tension and that stops our blade from stretching. When you want to lock it back up, just lock that straight back up and that'll retension our blade. To adjust for the alignment of the, the blade when it's running, we can adjust that from the back here. We loosen off this knob and if we adjust this here, that'll move the roll, the front wheel in or out so we can track the blade correctly. Our height is done by here, so we loosen off the knob Similar to our other machines, it's got a rack and pinion, so it's nice and easy to adjust the height up and down. You don't have to worry about the guide falling down onto your hands or your material when you're adjusting it. Nice, simple and easy, and then just lock that up, and then that'll lock into position. Tilting this table on this machine is super easy. So we've got a lock handle down here, a quick lock device. If we loosen that off, we can then tilt this 
over to 45, depending on what our angle is. We've got a gauge we can use here. And then we can come all the way back down. When we bring the table back down, we've got this stop bolt that'll bring it back to our 90 degrees so we can lock it off and keep cutting. Another little feature you can do with this is you can swing it out of the way and it will allow the table to come further than 90 degrees and go negative a couple of degrees if you need to bring the table back that way for whatever you're doing. Swing that back around, lock it up, there you go. The machine has a 100 mil dust extraction port on the back here, so you can connect up to your shop vac and remove as much dust as possible. We've got tool storage on the back of the machine, so it keeps everything nice and accessible for when you're using the machine. Also got our push stick holder on the side here, so that's also in close grip when we are using the machine for those tight cuts. So this machine comes standard included with the closed in cabinet at the bottom with a door on there so you can store bandsaw blades and bits and pieces like that inside the machine. And you can also buy a optional wheel kit for the machine. As you can see, we've fitted it on here. To use this is quite simple. Just push down, it'll lock itself down and then you can move that wherever you need in your shop, push it into the corner, get it out of the way. And then when you're ready to go back down, back down and it's locked in position, back ready where it was, ready to go. So this machine comes with a two horsepower induction motor. The motor also has a brake in it. So when you do turn it on, you do hear a slight squeak when you turn it on and you turn it off. So don't be alarmed. We'll hear that now. So that little squeak at the beginning is the, the as it starts, the centrifugal force then releases the brake. And then when we're finished, we'll hear a click and it just applies that brake just to slow down the blade a little bit faster so you don't have it free spinning so much. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again next time. Cheers.